This recipe is going to be healthy oatmeal cookies. So what I have here is the list of the ingredients. But the first step to doing this is preheating our oven to 350 degrees. With that said, we're going to use one scoop of the modern protein, vanilla ice cream protein. <clears throat> one serving or three-fourths of a cup of the complete pancake mix. And the reason I use this again, less calories than flour, it's easier to find because it's in all grocery stores, and it's $1.70 a box. Cheaper, more effective, less calories, and it makes a better product. We're just going to use a dash of Splenda. I'm literally just going to put a little touch in there for sweetener. A dash of baking powder, again, just to help the final product rise. Half a cup of oatmeal. I'm going to grind this to a fine powder before we get it started. Wet ingredient-wise, I'm going to use three tablespoons of Greek yogurt right there. I use my house Wakeman's brand. One whole egg, which I have right here, and I'm going to use some water to make a batter-like consistency when we mix everything together. So first step, we're going to take my oatmeal, put it in a blender, and I'm going to blend it up into a fine powder, and then we're going to mix our dry ingredients. Dry, we have our scoop away. Boom. Pancake mix right there. Grinded up oatmeal, which I have right here. A little dash of Splenda. And we're just going to take a little bit of the baking powder here. And just put just one whole egg. Our Greek yogurt. And I'm slowly going to add water and mix together with a spoon until I get a cake-like, batter-like consistency. What our final batter should look like when it's all mixed together. Next up, line a baking sheet with aluminum foil. Take some cooking spray, so that way our final product does not stick. And then we're simply going to take our batter and use a spoon and just drop it right on the sheet. Try and space these out by about an inch and make them into little circular shapes. So that way they look like good cookies when they bake. And I'm going to repeat this until our sheet is full. Our sheet is done, so what I'm going to do is place it in the oven for about eight. The timer goes off, pull the cookies out, and allow them to sit on a cookie sheet or a cooling rack for about five minutes. Head and done, you can see our cookies are nice and fluffy. There you go, a little golden brown on the bottom, just enough done. The instructions, ingredients, and also macronutrients are in the comment box below.